Hey, Just Bricks is here. I uh, just got to the brick kiln. It is Saturday. Um, I'm wearing my roller coaster shirt because I just got back from a uh, trip to Six Flags and uh, a couple other places. It was a little bit of a wet day, so we were originally going to go out to um, Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey, but because of the rain and the fact that it's a two hour drive, I didn't want to get out there and risk them closing early because of the rain. So we went to our closer park and uh, spent a couple hours there. And then after lunch, we, we went to uh, Tyson Corner Mall outside of DC and got three pick a brick cups, got a full cup of these two by four tiles, and then a couple just two by four bricks threw in there. Um, also got some of these pentagonal tiles, uh, these trans clear headlight bricks, some dishes and plants, a bunch of these uh, stem pieces, a couple of those plates, some window pieces, and a bunch of these trans light blue one by two tiles. So I'm going to go ahead and get those uploaded tonight, and that's probably all I'm going to do because I think it's around 8.30, something like that. So I'm going to try and get these uploaded real quick and call it a night. All right, so here's what I ended up with. Uh, this is the only one I've counted so far. There are 216 of these 2x4 white tiles. Got a mess of these pentagonal tiles, trans uh, light blue 1x2s. These are the cool ones, trans clear headlight bricks. Don't see those very often. Not super expensive. They're like 12 cents each, but not bad. A uh, bunch of glass for windows. I had never seen this particular part here before. I'm sure it's in some of the city sets or something, but pretty cool. Uh, I'd never seen those before. I picked up three of them. Not really sure how to list these because I'm pretty sure these glass pieces pop out. And so, I mean, technically they were like this from Lego. So if I were to pop them apart, do they still count as new? Or I don't know. And then uh, got these guys, some plants just as filler. Um, I got a, two cups of those guys, which I just realized when I got home that I already had some of those from a pick a brick cup from like two years ago. But I don't know, maybe they'll sell better if I have a bunch of them. Um, yeah, so those are the parts I got and some of these uh, one by one plates just kind of got those as filler as well so those are the parts gonna get them counted and in drawers and set the price guide Three hundred and fourteen sixty-two. nice um i do have uh let's see i got 200 of these and they average six cents so that's surprisingly good um, for the doors and windows here, I did put the, put a note there that's saying, saying they came assembled from the Lego pick a brick and, uh, they weren't used other than that. And then, yeah, some, quite a high number for some of these lots and it's pretty good. So gonna get those uploaded. Ran into a slight snag where I didn't realize, I thought for some reason I had sold the ones of these I already had in my inventory. And then I realized that it was the black ones that I've sold some of. So I had 91 of these white tiles already in my inventory. So I uh, had to move them to a bin. So kind of wishing I hadn't gotten a whole cup full of those. Sheesh. All right, so I got everything in and consolidating. I did change the prices down by 20% just since they're on pick a brick. I know there's going to be a lot of them out there. So I dropped the price down to 251, but I think I was $50 all in. So that's still a really good part out value, especially considering I still have all these to upload. And yeah, I had to condense a couple drawers. So I got this one. That one had a bunch of these uh, leaf, piece, leaf pieces in there. And so uh, it was actually overflowing the back compartment into this one. And I just, kind of thrown them all together and was like, whatever, I'll be able to figure them out. So this cleans things up a little bit there. Probably could have done these in two different drawers, but whatever. And then I only had four of these already in my inventory. So 
not a whole lot of those there. Oh, and I don't know if I showed those earlier, but yeah, got those in their own drawer or half a drawer. So I'm gonna hit upload and call it a night. Okay, I went ahead and added those two after all. Um, it was 625 of them. I listed them at eight cents a piece. So that's a total value of who knows how much because it doesn't say on BrickLink when you add this way. So um, if someone wants to do the math, go for it. Just kidding. I went ahead and did it. It was $50 exactly. So that's kind of cool. All right. It is Monday. I just went ahead and uh, uploaded those light blue gray parts. There's the 430 pieces in 92 lots, $105.87. So those are in. And then uh, all put away already. I just have a couple drawers here that still had room. Uh, this one I consolidated. Good job. Consolidated a lot out of. So went ahead and left it out since there's so much room in that half. So uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and knock this set out since it's sitting here out of box. So I'm going to get that uploaded. It's very few pieces, so it shouldn't take long. And then, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start uploading some of the miscellaneous bulk used parts from the, uh, the other night that I've consolid not consolidated, cataloged, but didn't upload yet. So, uh, well, hopefully I'm going to be able to do that because brick store crashed and I don't know if I managed to save that file or not. If I did, it's unknown of what the file name was so i'm really just hoping that it's still there i just checked and i got uh two orders and i went ahead and picked them because they were very small and easy um and it's just two lots in this one seven pieces uh, i went ahead and threw in a couple extra of these plates because a couple of them had little nicks or something on there and i had extra in the drawer and then sold 100 of the uh, plant stems already so that's four dollars of my fifty dollars back already so that's pretty good um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get those packed up and then move on to parting out those sets all right so those parts are uploaded um, it was like sixty eight dollars I paid thirty dollars for the parts so not a super great deal but there's not a whole lot of them there and a lot of the value is in these minifigures and that is, uh, that's something I was trying to say in the original video when I got these, was uh, I got them because I, I picked up these sets on clearance at Walmart for five bucks each. And then these poly bags were at uh, Browse About Books also for five dollars each. And so I picked these up specifically because I wanted more Ninjago minifigures in my store and they seemed to be less common. I mean, I'm not a huge Ninjago fan. In fact, I couldn't tell you which one of these is Cole, which one's Kai, and whatever the other names are. I don't know if either of these are Cole or Kai. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I have those parts ready to go back into the onto the shelf. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and some some of those parts that consolidated were in some of these bins. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these uh, organizers and take the parts from them and switch them over to drawers just to get them out of the organizers and a little bit of a quality of life fix for the store. So that's next on the list. Okay, so the only organizer left here from oh, with new parts is this one since it got all the minifigure parts seemed to make sense to leave those in the organizer. Um, then I still have all the used organizers. I did empty these three. Um, I had to use half of a big drawer here and this drawer for those studs. I found out while doing this that I had somehow listed these red studs as $3.12 each. So I uh, made sure to fix that. It was supposed to, apparently it was supposed to be 3.12 cents and a decimal point got moved somehow. Um, but yeah, each of these drawers here was parts that had to be, well, 
that were in the organizers that I moved out. Um, the blue, dark blue studs there, those, um, those were not in my inventory. I think what had happened was I estimated when I uploaded them and then everything that had been listed sold and these were just left in there because they weren't in my inventory. And then with these trans clear studs, some of these, I think there were 35 in a different drawer. Well, it was listed as 35 in a different drawer. There were actually 46 in that drawer and then there were like a hundred in the organizer. So got those listed too. And then some of these parts, these haven't sold since I uploaded them in the fall. I got a bunch of these heads that I ordered through Bricks and Pieces. I've sold some of each of them. Um, this was on Pick a Brick at a, a mall store that I don't normally get to go to. This one, um, I think I've only sold like five of them. Probably should lower the price to try and get those to sell. Uh, yeah, so that's all those parts. I'm going to call it a night there. And uh, when I come back, I should be uploading those used parts that I keep saying I'm going to get to and haven't gotten to yet. So that's it for Monday night. Forgot to mention it. I do have a new bottle for the collection. This is Purple Thunder. It is a Circle K gas station exclusive. It's supposed to be a berry plum. Um, I finally found a couple of these at a different gas station that wasn't supposed to have it. Um, I've drank them already. Pretty good. I, I give it a B out of like my S, A, B tiers. So, I mean, S, A, B, C, D, F is the ranking. So this is a B tier, which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not one of the best. It's, it's really good. But uh, something that I did notice is it has 73 grams of sugar. That's a lot. And so uh, won't be getting any more of these, I don't think just because they're really unhealthy. And so uh put that one up on the shelf with the rest. Put that cap back on that one. And there we go. Another do for the collection. All right, it is Tuesday, I just went ahead and uploaded, well actually I haven't hit upload yet on these parts, but they've uh, been, they were cataloged, they all have remarks, ready to put these drawers back on the wall. It is uh, 161 items, 74 lots, $170.47.2, uh, so uh, some decent parts in here. Um, these little space things there this one's got a nick in it so it's lower priced but these guys here are about five bucks a piece these are a dollar or two a piece and of course the uh um mast pieces those are always nice and surprisingly some of these uh supports were rather expensive more than i was expecting them to be at least and then uh yeah so i got those pieces ready to go up on the wall okay the next batch is up um Lots of these steering wheel pieces, very low value for those. I think the average price for these is two cents. So uh, yeah, those are not very useful. Um, some interesting parts. I like these supports, even though they're not super expensive, I do like them. Uh, this piece here is pretty cool. I, I really like this piece. Like Just the fact that it actually is spring loaded to the point where you can catch things, but for the most part, it kind of works like the uh, little crane game where you have to kind of push it to get things in there because it doesn't want to grab them on its own. Um, I've got some brick separators, some chains. I really like these uh, trans neon green chains. Those are cool. Surprisingly, these light gray and blue tail pieces, those are really expensive. I think these are $2 and these are over $3 each. And then just some more random parts there and some large parts over in these drawers. Um, yeah, gonna 
get these up on the wall and then grab more drawers. All right, I uh, uploaded these parts here, or added them to the BSX file. Um, so there's those parts there, and then a couple more parts in this container here. I'm gonna go ahead and upload these. I'm not gonna do it while I'm recording, but uh, oh, I need to fix this. For some reason it keeps changing the bulk. It, it changed the bulk setting to seven. So that's not a good thing to have happen because I don't have seven of most of these parts. But um, the total of parts I've done right now is 309 in 79 lots, $71.57. So not a whole lot value-wise, but uh, getting some of these big parts out of the way. Then I still have these. These are lots that I was hoping to get done for dinner, but uh, running out of time. And so I'm going to have to leave it here and see if I have time to come back this evening. And hopefully I'll have enough time to come back and get just these parts uploaded tonight. All right, so I finished up that stuff that I said I wanted to do. And then I went through and found some uh, minifigure stuff that I've been meaning to get through for a while. And I started working my way through it a little bit piece together this future on guy he's uh in pretty good shape and so i listed him at the current inventory average of 1176 um i mean there's almost perfect sell through on those figures so i figured i'd go a little higher and then um a lot of these Forestman figure parts, I wasn't able to complete figures because I was missing all the plumes. I was able to make the one there. I think his six-month average, yeah, it's $9.04. The current is eleven twenty-five. I listed him for $10 even. And then uh, just a couple other figure parts there. But now my total upload for, well, I guess this is my second upload for the day. The first one was around $100. So this upload is 516 pieces, 178 lots, $214.40. So that's a good amount. Uh, I've been needing to upload for a while, and that's I'm, I'm happy with the total upload for the day of around $300. So uh, I'm going to hit upload on that, notify, and call it a night. I'm going to have all this stuff to go through when I come back. I'm still trying to figure out the best way of cataloging minifigure parts. Um, and I got all these accessories and some figure parts mixed in here. So, uh, yeah, that's a project for another night. So, total, I've added 253 lots today. Granted, I'm not consolidating those lots, so it's probably a, at least a few repeat lots in there, but... Still, I'm happy with that. Went ahead and notified. Yep, so that takes me up to drawer 1586 on the little drawers and 1709 on the large drawers. So, uh, getting caught up. Won't be long until I'll be on this section of wall over here. And I'm excited about that. Very cool, very cool. And that's going to wrap up Tuesday night. See you tomorrow. Hey, it is Wednesday. I am back in the brick kiln. Uh, I've been picking orders. Just, uh, I was in a hurry earlier when I started picking these orders. And so I didn't see the uh, acro unit over there. Ooh, that's a mess. But I didn't see the acro mills unit that I had. And so, uh, I just grabbed these organizers that I emptied the other day and started using them to pull the orders. And this is as far as I've gotten. Um, I did have someone order 200 of those plant stems there. So that's $12 total from those. And yeah, I got everything going here. Just got to go through the used lots. Okay, so my orders are picked. I am now... Well, I just went through here and pulled out uh, minifigure heads, 
I left this one on there because this guy's print isn't too bad. So if I can find a helmet in air tanks for him, I'm going to list him as a figure. Uh, but yeah, I've been sorting minifigure heads out. These are all just blocked up open stud, um, modified and friends. These are dual or have print on the back, whether they're actually dual sided or not, like this one. Oh, come here. It's trying to get away. Like this guy. He's got print on the front, print on the back, but he's only one sided. I don't know if that was really worth doing, but uh, then I got single sided hollow stud female heads single sided uh, hollow stud male heads just blank hollow studs solid stud heads and damaged stuff and then i also had these two star wars figures that i'm pretty sure are complete so yeah uh but that's all i'm gonna do get done for tonight it's almost midnight and I have to be out. I have to leave by 6.30 tomorrow, uh, taking my wife to get a minor surgery done. But yeah, uh, that's gonna wrap up Wednesday night. Hey, I'm back. It is Friday. Um, I've got, I think four orders to pack, three or four orders to pack. Uh, then I'm gonna get into this stuff here, maybe try and upload some of these heads get some of them cataloged at the very least and uh yeah so uh, we'll see where i get to all right i got my three orders packed uh well pulled had a bunch of hinge bricks there some minifigure parts and a couple interesting little pieces there oh uh, had two lots of that same piece there so they bought both of them and got bunch of these tail pieces, that little uh, quarter panel there, some plates, a lot of light gray pieces, and then the second order, just some used parts, sold that flag, that's a pretty good piece right there, and then the alligator, oh and uh, this for is also from that first order, some windscreens and UFO parts, some those. And then C was just these few pieces there. Finally sold one of these. I bought 200 of these thinking they were the size of the soccer balls, not realizing they were the, uh, what's it called, Bionicle, Zamfor, Sphere, or whatever they call it. And uh, I just changed the price on these because I had them, I think when I uploaded them, the average sold price was like 80 some cents. And I've had them for about a year and I haven't sold a single one. I checked it, the average sold price is still right around 80 cents, but I dropped them down to 55 to see if I could get a couple to move, and then this one sold right away. So, hey, there's something. And then uh, that order also had these two boats. This one needs to be a little bit clean because it's still dusty. So, uh, yeah. So those are my orders. I got four drawers that... uh have empty or almost empty sides. So I'm gonna consolidate or uh, reassign those. And then I have these couple, uh, couple drawers here that also can be condensed down a little bit. So that's next. This is a first. It's almost a perfectly straight line all the way across to California. <laughs> Never seen a line that straight on this map before. It's like almost exactly perfectly level. <laughs> all right, so I've gone through all the female heads and the male heads that are both single and uh, single sided and hollow stud. Um, this is what I've got so far. Just run through these a little bit. Haven't put remarks in for most of them yet. I'm getting much better at this. It would have taken me much longer to do this a year ago. 
So there's that. It's a total of 216 heads in 108 lots. Well, I guess technically there's a torso in there too. But $103.60. So now I just need to figure out what to put the remarks in. Uh, how to put the remarks in for these. And these are what's left. We've got the solid stud, the blocked open stud, and the dual or with printing on both sides heads. And then those are the damaged ones there. Most of them are just really minor damage, but be that as it may, I'm not going to list them. There we go. All the heads are uploaded. I've noticed that the female heads, there's a lot fewer of them. And those are all the same right there. They're like, I think, close to 30 heads. And they're all the same. I think there are only like 10 different lots for female heads and then all these for male so definitely uh less um variety in the female facial expressions available in lego okay i did a little more sorting on these heads I'm just sorting out by color and i sorted out the standard grin heads out of there a lot of these uh, sunglass dudes, I think these were from the original Arctic sets. I could be wrong on that, but there's a lot of those in there. So, uh, but I'm, I'm just going to leave it as that for tonight. And I don't know if I'm coming back tomorrow yet or not. But this will end the vlog for this week. And thanks for watching. And until next time. Y'all have a good one.